At WDS 2024, the company ST Engineering from Singapore presents a full range of different types of military equipment in the field of land, air and sea. You can see behind me a new version of the Cub Bronco, a civilian version of the Bronco, which has the capability to be used on land and on sea. At WDS 2024, the company ST Engineering from Singapore presents a civilian version of its Bronco called Extreme V. This vehicle was especially designed to perform humanitarian operations. The Extreme V is designed to conduct operations in all terrain collision and also in amphibious operation. At the booth of ST Engineering, we can see also different types of military equipment, including ammunition and also small weapons. The company produces and manufactures different types of assault rifle and machine gun. In terms of combat vehicles, ST Engineering display at WDS 2024 different types of scale molding, showcasing its full range of combat armored vehicles. You can see now the Bronco 3, an all-terrain amphibious vehicle. This is the latest generation of Bronco family. Another interesting vehicle is the next generation armored fighting vehicle, which is now in service with the Singapore Armored Forces. Another very interesting vehicle is an 8x8 armored vehicle. This is the latest generation in the Terex family, the Terex 3. The vehicle is equipped with an unmanned system armed with a 25 mm cannon. The vehicle can carry a total of nine military personnel, including the driver, the gunner and seven infantrymen. The vehicle is fully amphibious and can cross water obstacles at a speed of 10 km. ST Engineering from Singapore also produce different types of vessels, including landing craft, patrol boats and more. In 2021, ST Engineer has signed a contract with the United Arab Emirates to deliver Ford Vanguard 80. Thank you for this uh, meeting. Iraf is a Saudi company that was established uh, 27 years ago and it works in uh, the uh, repair and build of uh, integrated land systems. We are continuing developing our uh, products and one of the most important products that we have uh, just signed today and started uh, working with NTGS to manufacture and promote the mortar system, the mobile mortar system, which is one of the unique systems in the market that has been proven and uh, we are happy to introduce it to serve the armed forces of Saudi Arabia. We are not new in Saudi Arabia, we have been here uh, before, years ago, but uh, we understood that uh, to grow up in the country we need to come together with a partner, local partner, as an Iraq is for many reasons is a very good partner, a very interesting partner for us to also to comply with our uh, dream to participate in the Vision 2030 uh, for this country. So it's all, today is a very important day for our, us personally and for our company because we will be present in this uh, program. The Alacran Mortar System is a mobile mortar. It means that everybody who has uh, some kind of uh, experience or information about a mortar knows that it, uh, to deploy a mortar operation it takes a lot of time because we need to use at least also a big number of uh, vehicles and, and personnel to transport ammunition, transport the components, to settle everything in, in place, to aim the barrel. All these operations take a long time, 14, 15 minutes. With the mobile mortar system, with the Alacran, what we can do is reduce that all time to just a few seconds. 
12, 14 seconds, we have the barrel and the mortar ready to shoot in the, on the ground and uh, aim it and with the ammunition and we only need one vehicle and uh, one or two persons. So it's very practical and if you, if you see at the end it's even more cheap than using the standard uh, mortars because we only need one vehicle and two persons. The other, maybe the weapon is cheaper, but you need three vehicles and a lot, uh, a big number of uh, uh, staff helping there. As you know, the, the threat in the region is increasing and uh, any armed forces would be looking for solutions for the threats and uh, also they are looking for the latest uh, available technology that will help them to countermeasure the uh, threat in the region. So we are offering these solutions to the uh, armed forces and after their uh, tests and trials, we hope they will uh, adopt uh, such a solution. We are exhibiting our latest product, uh, uh, Mitras. It's an armored vehicle for uh, battlefield environment. Uh, it is protected uh, to a higher level and using uh, also uh, the latest available drive line in the market and uh, we are hoping to offer this uh, to the uh, uh, concerned customers uh, for trial and approval as well. We are actually like any other commercial company would pursue opportunities in the Saudi market and regional market and also international market. We have been successful in exporting uh, some of armored vehicles to Nigeria and right now we are discussing uh, another contract with another African country, uh, uh, developing and providing vehicles that suit the African environment and the uh, uh, requirement of the customer over there. Hi and welcome for the day for a World Defense Show 2024, the International Defense Exhibition in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Today we will focus to the Saudi defense industry. There is a large presence of different companies showcasing different equipment in the field of air, land and sea. And now let's go to discover the Saudi defense industry. With uh, this virtual tour, you can see that Saudi defense industry is now able to produce a wide range of different type of military equipment. Or in the booth of NCMS, you can see bombs, turret, combat vehicles, control drone solution, and different type of EI technology, and also electronic warfare and countermeasure. We are now on the booth of SAMI, one of the largest manufacturer and producer of defense products in Saudi Arabia. And one of the highlights of the show is the new 8x8 self-propelled howitzer, designed and manufactured by the Saudi company SAMI. According to information provided by SAMI, the vehicle is under trials by the Saudi Armed Forces. We will try to describe this new vehicle. The vehicle is based on a 8x8 Tatra chassis and the weapon system consisting of 155mm EV gun is mounted at the rear of the truck chassis. It seems that the vehicle is equipped with a semi-automatic loading system and carry ammunition and chargers on the side of the vehicle in boxes. Sami display the Fajir, a 4x4 APC armored personal carrier and the Storm 2 
which is a mobile electronic warfare system vehicle. At the booth of SAMI, you can see a new version of the LAF-25, an 8x8 armored combat vehicle. The vehicle is jointly developed by SAMI and the American company General Dynamics Land System. The vehicle is upgraded with a new driveline and suspension, and the vehicle is now equipped with a new 300 HP power pack and digital electronic architecture. The vehicle maintains the original design of the uh, LAF-25, is equipped with a two-man turret armed with a 25mm cannon. SAMI also unveils a new 4x4 light tactical vehicle called Ubaya-1. This is a wheel tactical armored vehicle offering protection level B6 against firing of small arms 7.62mm. The vehicle is fitted with a, a closed turret which can equip with different types of weapons including 7.62mm or 12.7mm EV machine gun or MK19 40mm grenade launcher. SAMI also presents its new light tactical vehicles fully designed and developed in Saudi Arabia. The layout of the vehicle is conventional with the engine at the front, four doors, cargo area at the rear, and the vehicles can be fitted with a remotely operated weapon station which can be armed with 7.2 or 12.7 mm machine gun or a 40 mm grenade launcher. There is a large presence of the Saudi armed forces and the National Guard. We are now on the booth of the Saudi armed forces and they present a full range of different types of equipment in the field of artillery, combat vehicles, drones, and main battle tank. One of the new defense products in service with the Saudi Armed Forces is the Shenmu, a multiple launch rocket system designed and manufactured in South Korea. Here you can see the MRTV, designed and manufactured by the American company Oshkosh. This is a 4x4 light tactical vehicles and is used in the Saudi Army by the Special Security Forces. Another very new vehicle in service with the Saudi Army is the VAB Mark III. This is a 6x6 armored vehicle designed and manufactured by Arcus, the French company Arcus. In this case, the vehicle is equipped also with a remotely operated weapon station. Now we are on the front of a new combat vehicle which is in service since a few years, but this is the first time that the Saudi Armed Forces present this vehicle at WDS 2024. This is an 8x8 armored vehicle equipped with a turret designed and manufactured by the Belgian company John Crockhill. The turret is armed with a 105mm EV cannon. Another French vehicle in service with the Saudi Army is the uh, Patsas Akmat Patsas. It's a light reconnaissance tactical vehicle designed and manufactured by the French company Arcus. Now you can see the MV4. It's a mine clearing vehicle designed and manufactured in Croatia. The M1A2S main battle tank. It's a Saudi version of the American M1A2. There is some specific features that was designed specially for the Saudi Armed Forces according to some specific requirements. We are now on the outside display area of the Saudi National Guard and you can see different type of vehicles in service with this unit. There is some LAV-25, there is also soft front vehicles in APC configuration and also in air defense configuration and also an air defense missile system called VL Mika and of course the first version of the Cesar manufactured and designed by the French company Nexter. This is the last day for Army Cognition editorial team at World Defense Show 2024. But follow us to see our latest reports and online show daily news during Dimdex in Qatar, DSA in Malaysia and Eurosatory in France.